Have you ever wondered, how does my brain work? Well, me too. First thing, we all know that living things require energy. Whether that's a mouse, dog, or a big blue whale, all living things need a lot of energy to survive. But where does all this energy come from? Whether that's your food, so your bread, pizza, salad, or steak, it all gets degraded into this very complex pathway to produce the basic building blocks of biology, which are known as amino acids, glucose, and fatty acids. And all of these get then broken down into what our cells use as energy, which is adenosine triphosphate, or ATP. But our different organs utilize energy at different rates. Our skeletal muscle and liver and spleen comprise a lot of the energy of our body. However, the brain uses 20% of all the energy in our body. And considering that it's only about 2% of your body weight, it uses the most amount of energy per gram of tissue than any other organ. But where's all that energy going? Well, neurons in the brain use tons of energy to create electrical signals. If you were to plug in your brain, you would produce about 20 watts of power per day, which is approximately the energy to power a dim household light bulb. So we need a lot of energy to go to your brain. But where does your brain get all that energy? Okay, let's zoom in. A little further. Okay, your brain is chock full of blood vessels. Your blood vessels are responsible for transporting all of the glucose to your brain, and then that turns it into energy. Okay, let's zoom out to get a bigger picture. Okay, so here's a brain that's located at the brain exhibit of the South Florida Science Center. If we get rid of all of the other tissue that isn't blood vessels, we need to be left with this big red blob. All of that red is all blood vessels. It is so many blood vessels that if we were to measure out all the brain's circulatory system, it would be about 400 miles long. That's equivalent to the distance from STEM Studio in Jupiter, Florida, all the way to St. Petersburg, Florida, and then back. Okay, so now you have about 400 miles of blood vessels running through your brain. But we need to get blood there somehow. So we rely on our heart. And our heart pumps about 750 milliliters, or three quarters of a liter of blood, just to your brain in one minute. So, wait. In 24 hours, then our heart pumps 1,080 liters of blood just to your brain. That's insane. Okay, that's, that's equivalent to about 264 gallons. Wow, okay. Well, I wonder, is, is this totally true? Well, while we get that much blood to our brain over time, we only have about 5 liters, or 1.3 gallons of blood in your body. Meaning, your heart recycles your blood just to your brain about 216 times per day. And you know what? Your heart recycles. So that means you should, too. We're the Ascend Program, advancing STEM community engagement through neuroscience discovery. We're a bunch of neuroscientists based out of FAU Brain Institute, Scripps Research Institute, and the Max Planck Institute of Neuroscience. If you like these neuroscience videos, give us a like and subscribe. You can also follow us on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. For educator resources, please use the link below. We'll post that in the comments. We're powered by the Stiles Nicholson Foundation, the South Florida Science Center and Aquarium, and the Florida Atlantic University Brain Institute. Our goal is to ignite curiosity about brain science. So please leave us a comment below with different neuroscience topics that spark your interest. Thanks for watching.